Our scripture this morning, I am going to use the scripture he had, and uh, it is from Luke chapter 2, and it's verses 8 through 18, and I'm of the age where I have to flip my glasses up to see the words. In the same region, shepherds were staying out in the fields and keeping watch at night over their flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Or back if you think about Linus, they were sore afraid. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. When the angels had left them and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem and see what has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. They hurried off and found both Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. After seeing them, they reported the message that they were told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Somehow when I read that today, thinking about shepherds, the the thing that we used to read in elementary school back in the 70s popped into my head, the greatest Christmas pageant ever, and the little family named the Herdmans. And the Herdmans were shepherds. They weren't the nicest kids. Those of you that don't remember the story, they were probably the five or six worst kids in town. But they got invited to Sunday school, and they decided to go because there was food. Their dad had died, their mom was working, and they were rowdy. All the other children and the teachers were terrified. Because, and those of us who were teachers, we've had these kids on Sunday school from time to time. Um, Yeah, and he teaches the adult men's class. Um, (laughs) So we've had those rowdy kids. Sometimes they don't smell so good, their noses are running. They talk when they're not supposed to. But the Christmas pageant was coming, and the Herdmans liked the idea. So they bullied all the other kids so that they got all the lead parts. Imogene got to be Mary. The boys got to be shepherds and wise men. And all the people are terrified that the whole town's coming to their church tonight, and these kids are going to be what they see. How would we react? if the shepherds came in the door, or the herdmans of our generation. The 2020s aren't that much different than my childhood in the 1970s in that regard. We've got people who haven't heard. God made those people the first people to hear. The night Jesus is born, the first people who hear the news are shepherds. Back then, those people were just like the herdmans of the day, They were not clean. They smelled like sheep. We have goats at my house. Goats don't smell good. Do the sheep smell any better, Lydia? No. They're not going to smell good. They're not going to have good clothes. They don't have nice houses. Probably walked everywhere they went. But that's who God thought was most important to hear that news. The trick to this is that not only do we need to be watching for those shepherds to tell the good news, we're also the shepherds. Because when he came, we're the ones who were dirty. We're the ones who couldn't fix our sin. Some of us may have grown up with more privileges than others, knew where our food was coming, knew where our parents were and who our parents were but we were just as sinful and just as dirty as the shepherds that first night. God went to them. God came to us. Much like those shepherds, though, we've got a job to do. They knew where to go see Jesus. He was in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. The easy thing to do is what often we do. They could have stayed there in the field, chatted by the fire, done their jobs as they saw it, and not gone to check it out. 
That's the easy road. Our easy road is not getting up on Sunday mornings or, or whatever that is that we need to get to that God's called us to do that day. You know, maybe it's uh, fixing a dinner this afternoon. I know some of the folks came and did that. All of us have something that we're called to do that we could do the easier thing of not doing it. Those shepherds chose to get up. They left their fields. They went to see for themselves. Then they realized we've got to tell everybody else. We'll borrow this from Trent. He said the angels didn't go see the king. The angels didn't go see the rabbis. I, I did wonder when, he, when I read that part of his thing, well, what would the king and the rabbis have done had the angels appeared to them? And I was thinking if it was modern-day politicians, they would have had some kind of a committee meeting and decided how to spin it. Ten long days. Ten days, yes. They would have needed to spin it before they just told everybody. I'm figuring shepherds don't spin it. Shepherds tell the story. We were in the fields. The angels came. They sang. They told us. We saw the baby. He's the Messiah. It's a simple story. We muck it up. We get real caught up in all the fancy stuff. We're too scared to talk to other folks about Jesus sometimes. But we need to remember it's simple. If shepherds in the fields can get the story straight, see it for themselves and go tell others, we've all had the chance to see it for ourselves. Hopefully all of us have accepted Christ as our Savior. If not, he wants you to. And then we've got a job to do, is to tell other people. So tonight, we're going to leave here. You've got choices to make. Do you make the easy trip, get in your cars, go back to your houses, don't do anything different? Or do you figure out how it is you tell the other shepherds and the other people? Because I'll tell you on Monday morning or Tuesday morning or whenever you go back to work, some of the teachers and college kids, kids still have weeks, but whenever you go back, you're the shepherd going to tell, and there's other shepherds that need to hear. How are you going to do it? it? It's not always feeling easy, but the Holy Spirit will guide you. He'll tell you how, just like he did those shepherds. The neat thing, one day when we get to heaven, I think those shepherds are there. They heard. They had faith. They acted on that faith. Same thing he wants us to do.